Good morning children. Let us start a new chapter of your mathematics. Chapter number 7. Factors and multiples. Last chapter you must have remembered what it was? Division. <coughs> Last chapter I thought was division. So let us recall something. Like here example I have given. 8 divided by 2. When we divide 8 by 2 that is 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Reminder is 0. So same way we can divide 8 by 4. So we can divide 8 by 4. So 4 into 2 is equal to 8. Last time you understood last class divide division. So this way. Next is 8 divided by 1. So what we will do? 8 divided by 1. The divisor here is 1. The dividend is 8. So 8 1 into 8 is equal to 8 and reminder is 0. Then in this case you find 3 of them all the 3 cases the reminder is 0. What is the reminder? The reminder is 0. So this is the divisor. This is here. This is the divisor and here this was the divisor. So what we find out that when 8 is divided by 2, it divides exactly 8, having no reminder. When again 8 is divided by 4, it exactly divides 8 without remind, having any reminder. And the question we found was 2, here the question we found was 4, and here the question we found was 8. So, <coughs> here, One, this one, two, and four. One, two, and four divides eight exactly, having no reminder at all. Here, one, two, and four. One, two, and four divides eight exactly, having leaving no reminder. So we can say that 1, 2 and 4 are the factors of 8. So this you know, 1, 2 and 4. These are the factors of 8. What are the factors of 8? So this is what we can say factor is. So factor of a number is that number which divides the number completely leaving no remainder. Here in this case the remainder is 0. And one thing to remember every whole number except 1 has 2 or more factors. Suppose here 1. We can divide 1 by 1 only. 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Reminder is 0. The factor of 1 is here 1. And in this case, one more thing we can do. The quotient also, we can take as the factors of that number. So here we can get the factors of 8. What are the factors of 8? Including quotient. Divisor and quotient, both will be the factors. So here it is. 1 we can take 2, we can take 4 and we can take 8 also. Question we can take. So factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. So how many factors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. But in case of 1, suppose we take that quotient as well as divisor, it is 1 only. So only one is the whole number which has one factor. Rest any number, any whole number, they are having factors more than two or more than two. Like in this case of eight, what is the factor of eight? Factors of eight? One, two, four and eight. So we got four factors. Okay. 
here let us do an example find the factors of 32 by division you can follow your textbook also page number 84 suppose find the factors of 32 by division so 32 let us divide first by 1 so 32 divided by 1 is equal to 32 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2 32 divided by 32 is equal to 1 so what are the factors I told you we can take factors divisor as well as the quotient here divisor is this one quotient is this one both are the factors of 32 here divisor is 2 quotient is 16 both are the factors of 32 here divisor is 4 quotient is 8 both are the factors here divisor is 8 quotient is 4 both are the factors here divisor is 16 quotient is 2 both are the factors so at last what we are getting these are the factors we can go serial wise suppose let us take the divisor first 1 2 4 here 8 here 16 here 32 factors of 32 we got 1 2 8 4 8 16 and 32 so you can take quotient also 32 32 already is there no need to take 8 8 is already there no need to take 2 2 is already there no need to take 16 16 is already there no need to take 4 already there, no need to take, 1 already there, no need to take. So how much factor, how many factors we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, total 32 has 6 factors. How many factors? 6 factors. Simple way, 6 factors. So in that, factors, uh, one more thing, factors can also be found by multiplication suppose here we are doing one multiplication let me show you uh, 5 into 7 how much it is 5 into 7 multiplication table almost we knowing 5 into 7 is 35 so this is and this is this all we got factors by division here we can we are finding out factors by multiplication so this 5 and 7 they are called factors and this one is called product the result we got is called product so a product here having two factors 35 is the product which is having two factors 35 we can write in some other way also find out how you can write like I had told you earlier one is the factor of everything so if we divide this by 1, 35 divided by 1 is equal to 35. So this is also a factor. We can do this way. So 1 is the factor. After 5 and 7, 1 also you can add. One more thing we can do. Like here we did 32 divided by 32 is equal to 1. Here also we can do same. 35 divided by 35 is equal to 1. I told you we can take both quotient as well as divide, divisor as a factor. Here 1 and the quotient was 35. We can take this also as a factor. So here we can we proved it. 35 divided by 35. Here divisor was 35. So one more is 35. So how many factors we got? 35. We got 5, 7, 1 and 35 number of factors was 4 factors we got how many factors of 35 we got 4 factors of 35 we got let us do one more example <coughs> 5 factors of 18 by multiplication so what we do 1 2 3 4 5 serial wise let us write 1 into what is equal to 18 so you know 1 into 18 is equal to 18 so here you can write 1 into 18 is equal to 18 
2 into 1 is will be 18. So you can find out from twist table 2 into 9 is equal to 18. Similar way 3 into what will be 18? 3 into 6 will be 18. 4 into what will be 18? Here it is not possible because if we suppose divide near about whatever number we are taking, suppose 4 into 4. It is 16. Not coming. Suppose let us take one more digit more greater. 4 into 5 is equal to 20 so it doesn't come to 18 so it is not possible 5 into what number will be 18 this is also not possible so what are the numbers possible how many numbers we got it is possible like 1 into 18 was possible 2 into 9 was possible 3 into 6 was possible to find out the multi so these are the factors. So what are the factors? These six sets are the factors of 18. No other way is possible to find the factors of 18. No other numbers are the factors. Therefore, what will be the factors of 18? The factors of 18 are 1, here you can write 2, here it is 3, here it is 6, here it is 9, here it is 18. So what are the factors of 18? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 18 has 6 factors. How many factors? 6 factors. What are they? These are the factors of 18. So <coughs> one more example let us do. Is 9 factor of 45? Is 9 factor of 45? So what we will do? Let us divide 45 by 9 in first case I have shown by division method you can find out so let us divide 45 by 9 and find out whether 9 is the factor of 45 or not when it will be a factor if this divides <coughs> is this 45 if this 45 is divided completely by 9 without leaving any reminder it is a factor so what is that 9 into what is 45 9 into 5 is equal to 45 so 45 minus 45 is 0 so it is having no reminder hence 9 is the factor of 45 <coughs> earlier I told you divisor as well as quotient is also the factor of that number so here we are getting both are the factors 9 we can check 9 is the factor as well as 5 is also the factor so now we will go through some facts about factors. Some facts about factors. What are they? Number one. A factor divides the number exactly and leaves no reminder. A factor leaves divides a number exactly and leaves no reminder. In first case I have told Suppose here, 25 divided by 5, 5 into 5 is equal to 25, 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. So 5 is the factor of 25, 5 is the factor of 25 because it leaves no reminder. Now second fact is, Every whole number except one has two or more than two factors. Last time I told you every whole number except one has two or more than two factors. Like one divided by one I showed you. Number two point is one divided by one. One into one is equal to one, zero. So what is the factor here of one? One. But here you take suppose six. Let us divide by 1. 6 into 6 is equal to 6 is 0. So here factors how many? 1 as well as 6. Two factors. One more we can do. 6 divided by 2 suppose. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So 2 is also the factor. So how many factors 6 has? 2, 3, 1 and 6. 4 factors. But here in case of 1 it is only 
in case of one it is only one so every whole number except one has two or more than two factors but one has only one factor one is factor of every number which is the smallest factor one is the factor of any number like here 25 you can do 25 divided by 1 is equal to 25 1 is the factor of 25 as well as 25 is the factor of 25 next again suppose 6 divided by 1 is equal to 6 here 1 is the factor and 6 is also the factor of 6 so both are factors but 1 is the smallest so 1 is the smallest factor of a number and the greatest factor of the number is the number itself here Suppose 25 divided by 1, 1 is factor, 25 is also factor. What is the greatest factor? 25. Here what is the greatest factor? 6 means the number itself. So 1 is the smallest factor of a number and the greatest factor of a number is the number itself. You got it? 5 points. Now next point. Every number is a factor of 0, but 0 is not the factor of any number. What is that point? Every number is a factor of 0, but 0 is not the factor of any number. As division by 0 is not possible. In division chapter I have taught you, division by 0 is not possible. So example we can find out what I told. Every number is the factor of 0. Let us take a, one example. 19 into 0 is equal to 0. What is the multiple here is 0. And what is the factor is? This 0 is a factor. These two are factors. I told you like 3 into 5 into 3 is equal to 15. I told you this, this. These are the factors of this is the product. So here 0 is the product. And what are the factors? 19 and 0. So 0, every number is a factor of 0 any number is the factor of 0 but 0 is not the factor of any number 0 is never the factor of any number here 0 is not the factor but 19 is the factor so you can got it 0 is not the factor only 19 is the factor and the last fact is any number has limited number of factors like that time we did 6 divided by 2 6 into 3 is equal to 6 0 2 is the factor 3 is the factor 6 divided by 1 6 into 6 is equal to 6 minus 0 so here factors is 2 and 6 so what are the factors we get of 6 1 2, 3 and the number itself 6. So we got 4 factors of 6. So any number has limited number of factors. Suppose 5. What is the factor of 5? 5 you can divide by 5 itself. 5, 1, yeah, 5, 0. What is the factor here? 5 and 1. No other factor is possible. Suppose 2. 2 into what is 5? Can't do. So 5 is having only two factors that is 1 and the number itself so it is having limited not more not on undefinite so it has definite number of factors like 6 is having four factors 5 is, ha 5 is having two factors so let it be up to this much so you can complete exercise 7.1 question number 1 and question number 2 next class we will go through so your homework is the assignment is complete question number one and question number two of exercise 7.1 in your mathematics copy okay